In the past six months, I've generated £48,241.05, equivalent to over $58,000 purely through video creation for my clients. And I'm not saying this to boast at all. In fact, if you know my story, back in 2018, I was stuck in a job that I hated with anxiety and depression. I'd been there five years, I'd never been promoted, and I had no idea that there was even like an online marketing space. I was completely clueless and out of the loop. When I discovered online marketing, I started creating videos for my own dropshipping store and I started working all evening after my 9 to 5 job until early hours in the morning just to make videos for like $40 which would take me 5 to 10 hours of video and I was on a really low wage but I had a great long term mindset and I knew that if I keep going I'll finally get myself out of this rut. I'm not going to go into my full journey here on this video. I'll leave another video linked at the end of this one because what I really want to do in this video is I want to get straight into the three most profitable niches that you want to be in as a video editor starting out or with minimal experience so that you can start getting paid fast rather than wasting your time on the one kind of video that I would definitely not bother with which I'm going to share at the end of this video. For each video I'm going to share the niche i'm going to share a clip for the video that i made and i'm going to give you some ideas around pricing so you can see how much i can charge plus my goal with this video is to rewire how you think about your value as a video editor and what value you can provide and finally stick around to the end because i'm going to show you exactly what i would do if i had no clients and i was just an aspiring video editor starting from scratch right now and how i would go about getting my first client and then what to do to get more clients if you find this video valuable the best thing you can do is drop a like if you want to level up your video editing skills and get paid more as a freelancer then you might want to subscribe to this channel so that's the intro out of the way let's get into profitable niche number one Profitable niche number one, social media videos. As if you didn't see this coming, you've undoubtedly been scrolling through your phone and seen a swarm of social media video ads. Maybe you're on YouTube, maybe you're on this video and an ad pops up. Why are these valuable? The best thing about these kinds of videos is that they are tied directly to making somebody an income. And at the end of the day, results matter more than the fancy visuals. So if you can get clients results in this niche, then you can charge more, leveraging those results to get you more clients. Now these videos come with sub genres. So you could have, for example, physical products, digital products, course creators pitching their services, or even consultants pitching their services. And personally, I lean towards coaches, consultants, and course creators because they often have an offer on the end of their funnel worth a few thousand dollars. So if this video works, they make more money. Take a look at this quick clip. It's a video I edited for Travis Stevenson. I'm just gonna play like 10 to 15 seconds and let me know if you think I could edit that. Here's the clip. What I'm gonna share with you in this video is not a business in my mind, but it makes stupid money. What I'm gonna explain in this video is the easiest system I've ever seen for making money on the internet. There's no software. All right, so you can see I've taken a talking ad video. I've used some sound and some graphics to make it more like a trailer, to make it exciting. And I can charge $2,000, $5,000 for packages just like these, which I have for clients like Joel Irway, Commit Action, and I've even done some work for ClickFunnels. And the reason I can charge more for these kinds of videos is because Travis's video went on to get tons of social proof, I think thousands of likes and comments and generated nearly a million dollars in sales. So you take that screenshot of the results you're getting and then the coaches and consultants in your space will reach out to you if you've promoted yourself properly and they see your posts. Again, we're gonna touch on how I go about that later on in this video. Also, I won't usually just deliver like one video because when you're making a video for a client, they want to test multiple videos because the first few seconds are so important. Sometimes I'll find a piece of their video, cut that out and put it at the start so they've got an alternate hook or I might take their landscape video, throw it in a square and put a headline and captions at the bottom and I just give my clients the most bang for their buck that I can get out of that one video. So they pay for one video, but I over deliver and give them like five, six different variations for them to test. And then they take the winner, they feed back to me what made that video work. And then I use that in my future videos to make them convert better. And that is how I've learned to make converting videos. 
And just quickly before we delve into the second niche, I highly recommend going over to Skillshare and checking out my social media video masterclass where I go in more detail on how I find inspiration on video, more deeper fundamental thinkings that I apply when I'm like stuck for ideas. How am I going to find ideas to make this client's video on brand, make it convert? There's a load of great content in the Social Media Video Masterclass and you can get a free month with Skillshare using the link in the description below this video. Not only that, but you'll get access to all my other Skillshare courses. So I definitely recommend even just clicking the link, going over and checking them out and seeing if there's anything there that appeals to you. Profitable niche number two is the video sales letter. Video sales letters are longer videos, often up to an hour long and are ultimately the backbone of a marketing campaign that is used in a VSL. Typically they'll run an ad or they might even re run the VSL as an ad. The idea behind the VSL is really to cut into your emotions and slowly sell you the product over like an hour by telling a fascinating story. If you've ever seen a Mind Valley video, this is a great example of a VSL. Another great thing about VSLs is they don't have to be fancy. In fact, some VSLs are really like ugly and weird. And the reason this market is a great market to be in is because one, there's just not a lot of great VSL editors out there. Two, the work is often longer and harder and not a lot of people want to do it. So business owners are really finding it difficult to find people who are good at editing these VSLs. And number three, as you get faster and better and you get more organized with your stock footage and things like that, you can put your price per minute up and your time per edit goes down. So you're still charging the flat rate for the product, but you're getting quicker, which means you make more profit for your video editing. This video I'm overlaying now is just like 10 seconds from a VSL that I edited and I charged $4,500 for this video, which was about 28 minutes long. And ultimately the client's really happy. I'm currently in the process of building a landing page. So people who want video sales letters edited can hire my team for video sales letter editing. And then I'm also in the process of building the ultimate VSL editing course. So if you buy the course and you make a great VSL, you might get hired by me to work for my clients and you'll earn back the money for the course with the first video you make. Obviously, this is going to take a little bit of time, but if you're interested and want to stay updated, make sure to subscribe and I will release something when this is complete. And now profitable niche number three is YouTube videos. I can't really afford at the moment to hire a good YouTube editor. Now there are cheaper YouTube editors, but as I have a video editing channel, I really need good editors. And when I look on places like Fiverr, especially for things like Magnates Media, if you've seen Magnates Media's videos, if you can get to that level of video editing, you can easily charge a thousand dollars plus for a 10 minute video. The gray area is you need a client on YouTube who has the money to hire a good video editor who doesn't already have great videos. And usually successful YouTube channels got there through already having pretty well edited videos. So if you can get your skills to that level, you can definitely carve your way into this niche. In fact, I've made another video on my channel, how to create amazing 3D videos with Mid Journey, which goes into this kind of parallax effect that the likes of Magnates Media use. I'll leave that linked up here if you wanna check that out. Otherwise, watch the rest of the video and I'll also leave the link in the description so you can go check it out after I finish this video. So before we get into the video editing niche you should absolutely avoid, let me give you a simple seven step process that I would use if I had zero experience and I needed clients right now. Step one, I would grab my phone or my camera. If you have a camera, you don't need fancy equipment and like a budget friendly tripod. Step two, I do a quick search on YouTube for how to light a set, how to record a video, and just basically get a basic editing setup. You don't need anything like this, just good light on your face and good audio. Step three, I'd write a one to two minute script where I talk about my video editing services and what I offer and more importantly, the results I aim to get for my clients. Step four, I would pour my heart into editing this video and then I would embrace the shotgun approach as I like to call it. Step five, I would find every freelance platform I can, Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer, People Per Hour, have a Google search for every freelance platform you can find and I would use that one piece of content and put it as my gig video for every freelance platform. Step six, I would do the same thing but I would post it on every social media channel available. So Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok. And with this post, I would put a little description with a call to action saying if you want video editing services, if you want videos that get results, 
drop me a DM, contact me, you don't even need a website at this point. And then step seven, I wouldn't sit around waiting for a client, I would get straight back into creating my next content. And what you'll find by doing this, as you're promoting yourself, you're making the absolute most out of each piece of content you make, which is a mistake that I made back in the day. I would just post on Facebook and start making more content, but you've already done 90% of the work making the video, so why would you not do the extra 10% of work and just post it everywhere with a good, solid post? Over time, you're gonna get better, you're gonna get faster, your content's gonna get better, and people are gonna start reaching out to you, and then what you do from there is you double down on what's working. Maybe Twitter works for you, maybe LinkedIn, maybe you discover your own way of doing things. And slowly, over time, you will carve out your own niche. And you might think there's too much competition or that you're not good enough, but the only people who are your competition who are really good are just people that didn't quit. So commit yourself to this, enjoy the journey and keep going. So you can tackle this on your own, but I'm gonna give you two great affordable options if you want to fast track your success. The first one is my course called create the perfect Fiverr gig that actually sells. Now, why would you want to buy a Fiverr course from me? Well, first of all, I got to top seller on Fiverr in two years as a video editor that started with zero experience. And in this course, I show you step-by-step step each part of the gig creation process. For example, make a headline, I've got a video on it, and there is a step-by-step -step sheet that you can fill in so that you have this template to copy and paste when your gig is created. Basic description, how to make your description convert, your thumbnail, the video, Video. There's a part in this course for every section of the gig, all the way down to how to message clients, how to make sales, how to price your products, things that you can use in all your marketing efforts. So it's not just a basic Fiverr course. This is literally me taking five years of doing this the hard way and breaking it down into like a two to three hour course so you can follow along, copy and paste it into your gig, and everything you make from there on is going to be better. It's on Skillshare. So with that same link below, you can get access to the Fiverr course, the social media course, there's tons of courses on there. And then the second course you might want to take is my seven step social media blueprint where same principle, I really like this format where I give you a step by step guide with a checkbox so you know exactly where you are, you feel like you're making progress and ultimately if you follow that seven step process, by the time you get to step seven, that is a client putting money in your bank. Students get amazing results. You can check out the reviews and testimonials. Plus, when you get these courses, you can get into my group as well. Post your success, have people cheer you on and just basically ask for help in the group, which already has thousands of students who have met me through my courses. So the Fiverr course and social media blueprint is going to level you up and is super affordable. I'll leave them both linked below. Now, the niche that I definitely would not get into, and surprise, surprise, I have a course for this. I like making courses. I absolutely love making content. It's Hormozy style reels. Now, I'm not saying they're not good for your business. They might actually work, but the problem is, since this trend came along of this short form video editing and these reels, people are even reaching out to me, asking to make me reels for $5. There's business owners out there who are greedy, who have no clue about how creative and how much hard work it takes to make a video. And they're offering like 30 videos or something for like $100. And there's someone in the back breaking their back to make these videos. I just think the industry doesn't really appreciate these because you see them everywhere. Every man and their dog is making these kind of videos at the moment. And to be honest, I'm getting pretty annoyed of seeing the same kind of videos. So. I think your energy is better spent learning how to create longer form quality content that delivers a message, add your own style and actually get paid for what you deserve. Remember, when you say no to a low ball offer, you're freeing yourself up to say yes to somebody who's actually going to value you, who you can get results. Imagine making a reel for $5 and then it goes to get a million reviews and then the client says, oh, I want another one for $5 and you've got absolutely nothing for it. So those are the three profitable niches, the one I'd avoid, how I would get clients, and basically what you can do to fast track your progress. And if you want to learn more about my story and how I got from zero to five grand plus per month as a video editor, hit the video up by here and check that out. And just remember guys that like, yes, we all want results, but don't burn yourself out. Work hard, enjoy the grind, enjoy these opportunities in this online world, but also day by day try and stay present don't stress yourself too much life is too short so anyway that's me over and out ryan collins video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out